Hey all you YouTube fans, it's Libris Blood here, and we are back for another episode of Always Remember Me. Oh, nope, nope, stop. I'm gonna get flagged for copyright every episode, aren't I? I suppose it's quite all right. Quite, quite all right. I've been really, I've been really, really trying to, I've been really, really trying to get this accent down packed just because it's very crucial crucial to the series i i suppose but we're back for a uh, what might be our last episode ever and like the beginning of every episode on my channel I've forgotten to start my timer perfect uh, and if you're new to the channel welcome uh, please do check out the rest of the series uh, there is a playlist on the main page of my channel uh, along with some other series that we have uh, a Few are not yet complete, uh, but we, well, I am trying to revitalize a couple of them and finish them off. So that way, uh, there's a little bit more for people who are new to the channel that want to see some things that are already done. So, uh, yeah, we're, this has been kind of prolonged for a while. Um, but this is quite possibly our last episode of Always Remember Me. Uh, I think I said it in last, yeah, I think I said it in the last episode, but, you know, this is one of the two series that I started with, uh, when I started up my channel again. And I don't know, it's a little bittersweet to be finishing it. I'm excited. I'm definitely 100% excited to be finishing uh another one of the beginning uh series for the channel um and you know i've molded over and uh there might be a point in the future where i go back and play through this again to get uh one of the other endings with either hugh or with eddie uh aaron would probably be the last one even though he is like the main guy for uh the game uh you know he's you start out with him as your actual boyfriend and then you make the decision from there if you want to try and get him to remember you uh I'm, i think there's like a nicholas sparks book that was that i want to say that there is like a nicholas sparks book or movie and or movie i think there was one that was yeah i think there's a movie adaptation for one of nicholas sparks books and it's where the guy's wife has amnesia and he tries to get uh, he has to get her to fall back in love with him and you know this has been his wife for how many years but that's kind of like what this series is um now that I think about it, I don't know if I ever made that reference before, but, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of bittersweet, but in the roster of what is going to be the tentative schedule for the channel coming up, um, I will be trying to upload videos on the weekend, primarily, uh, if there are videos during the week. Uh, that is just because I have time. Usually I will want to 
upload during the week. Uh, if I do, great. If I don't, oh, um, well. But tentatively, uh, you know, Notch is going to be a his novel. I'm going to see if I can revisit our Amnesia Memories, this novel series, and maybe an actual um, non-Viz novel game for the channel. Uh, aside from that, uh, just 360 podcasts, 360 perspective podcasts. I got to be careful with that. There's other podcasts, you know. But yeah, let's jump into what might be our last few moments with Amy and Lawrence. Let, let me take that out. Oh, I keep I keep switching between several, several different, different accents. I'm really, really, really trying to do a Londoner accent, and it's quite hard, hard. It's quite hard to do it because I have, I have to remember, remember that a Lund Londoner accent, the way you do it, if you aren't from London, is speaking with the words in the front, front part of your mouth and with slightly softer softer R's so let's continue by getting ice I'm some ice cream ice cream 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 I Oof. It's quite rough. Yeah. Oh, time to go home. Yeah. So we're really gonna be. Oh boy, we're really going to be pushing it. We, because the game ends on the seventh. We're really pushing our luck here. So, uh, oh boy. This is like so hard because like, we're just like on the cusp of winning. And there might, whoo boy, whoo boy. You got, give me one second. And we're back. So sorry. Uh, I had to check something real quick to make sure like I know where the last event is going to happen because we only have one more event opportunity. And I feel so bad that I messed up one like so long ago. Uh, it didn't end up in a video because my I was still you know, screwing stuff up with my recording uh, equipment back in... Just good coffee. Uh, back in the days of uh, my channel's infancy, so yeah. we're gonna get a little ice cream. But yeah, we should be fine. Um, it probably should have dawned on me that it would be the obvious answer, but um, the last event is in the ice cream shop for Lawrence's storyline. I guess that kind of makes a lot more sense. Like wherever you generally see the love interest should be i i think i'm leaning away too much from my mic uh generally i guess it makes sense that wherever you go to upgrade your relationship with them should be the place that their final event happens i don't it, i guess it just didn't dawn on me till just now 
Uh, but yeah, very successful. Our neighbors have been good. This is really weird because like, <laughs> my room, the window, the only window I have in my room is like right next door to my neighbor. Uh, but it would, if they ever heard me, it would probably be because they'd be in their garden or something. I don't know. Joy. Uh, so... Lawrence... Lawrence, please... Please love us. And I do, yes! Amy. I... I truly do. The funny part is, like, we've had a lot of intimate yeah! moments um, throughout the series, and especially now in the last bit with Lawrence. Yeah! I'm just eating ice cream a lot because why not? I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, we could do some other stuff, but it's at this point not very beneficial because we don't, you know, it's our creativity doesn't matter. Uh, even though it's our second highest stat. Uh, but it doesn't matter for this one because that's Hugh's stat. Uh, romance does not mean anything because it's at three and neither does discipline because it's at two. But neither of those really matter. matters. And our relationships, I mean, we really, aside from Lawrence, we don't care what our relationship levels are with Aaron, Eddie, or Hugh. Um... Yeah, there's just like, I feel like getting ice cream is the best option because it's kind of nice. Uh, in reality's sake, nobody would be able to eat that much ice cream multiple days in a row. If you could, uh, I don't know. It's kind of, oh, the event is happening now. I repeat. This is not a drill. The event is happening now. All right. All right. Oh my God. What is Amy's voice? Near closing time, I was busy wiping the counter while Lawrence polished the tables. The radio was playing continuously and I half listened to the story to the talk show while I focused on scrubbing a particularly stubborn stain of blue icing from the edge of the counter. A girl on the radio was talking about how she fell in love with a friend of hers, but couldn't tell him how she felt and since... Uh, couldn't tell him how she felt be since he was engaged to somebody else. Without thinking, I spoke up. Following the trend of this game, it is always the top answer, at least for Lawrence's line. That's stupid. What? What is? I'm gonna like move that down. I nodded at the radio. If she loves him, then she should just tell him. Lawrence thought this over, uh, formulating his argument. But it's not that easy or simple. I snorted derisively. Derisive? What the? You learn a new word every day. I gotta check what that means. Derisively. Of course it is. People who are in this type of situation just think that it's difficult, but it's not. Just go up to him or her and tell them how you feel. But, but, some people, some people are more shy than others. They don't have the courage to put the 
to put their confession on the line like that. I shook my head at him, slightly annoyed by his naivete. You either tell them, or you keep it to yourself and let the person you love go without even taking a chance. It can hurt, and it might be embarrassing telling the truth like that, but it's worse if you don't. He looked like he still wanted to argue, but my words seemed to make sense to him. <gasps> no! We're only like 14 minutes in, and that's it! Okay, if you- if this is your first episode... Oh boy, this is a short one for you guys. Um, but when you reach 100% affection with any of the uh, love interests, automatically your game ends then and there. The game gives you till the 7th to make one of them fall in love with you or to just choose not to. Uh, so I don't know why I'm looking at my mic. I can look at my mic and talk and uh, look at the camera and talk into my mic at the same time. But yeah, so I didn't know how much this last thing would give us for affection. We needed 10 original, like we needed not 10, we needed like 20 points of affection. And I did not think we were going to make it. And I was so concerned because I had been making this series for you guys. We had built a connection with Lawrence it's been a long time coming but this ladies and gentlemen is the last episode of always remember me for the Lawrence storyline so we're gonna go ahead and continue here he looked back down at the table he was polishing and I returned to scrubbing the counter. The radio changed to a song by Eiffel 65, and we didn't speak again until closing time. What is that? Eiffel 65. That band name actually sounds so familiar, and I don't know why. I'm probably just being an idiot right now, but I, for the life of me, do not know why. Oh, did it not finish? That was easy. That was easy. What, what is going? Oh, oh, okay. This, this is it. This is it right here. Oh my gosh. This is it right here. Like this is happening. Okay, okay, we got this. There are less people in the shop during the week. Lawrence looks more relaxed. Oh, that was not it. That was not it at all. Okay, uh... Yay! TBH, guys? I have no... <laughs> I have no clue what the hell is happening right now. Like, I would have thought that this would be done, but I guess we go all the way to the 7th of September. Wait. Save game. Uh, you know what? We are going to save right now. And we are going to return. Okay. <gasps> Congratulations, you have unlocked an ending. I sat behind the desk at our brand new home with a pen in hand and a stack of notebooks to my right. Wait. Our brand new... What? <gasps> what? I was smiling as I wrote. I wasn't writing poems about lost love anymore. I was writing a poem to the man I loved most, who was right beside me. 
Amy will be opening soon. I have to do better than that. Amy will be opening soon. I can't wait. Oh, I'm moving the mouse right now. That's the thumbnail. There, there are people lined up outside the ice cream parlor. Do you think they're here for my ice cream or you're right me? Hmm. That's a tough one. Uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We both know they want to meet the wonderful, beautiful, and famous poet, Amarantha. Your name looks so lovely on the cover of your books of poetry. Never mind. That's the one of these pictures right now is going to be in the thumbnail. What? So we have a house. We might be married to Lawrence. So much happened in like 10 seconds going into this video. Like, I didn't even need to look up anything and we would have been fine. Uh, like, the only thing I looked up, if you're wondering, is just like what, where the last event happens and we would have to go there anyways. So it, it fixed itself. Ah, oh, you're embarrassing me. Thank you, though. I really hope they like what I wrote. What I write for them. What I write for them. They'll adore it. Everything you write is brilliant. Your writing is just as good, though. You're giving me too much credit. Who's the famous? poets around here. Your book of poetry hasn't come out yet. I'm sure you're going to do just as well as me. You know that I'll always support your writing more. But you've got to save your best poems for me, okay? You know I always will. But you've got to do the same. Darling, I only write. Darling, darling, no. Darling, I only write for you. <laughs> now you're really, now you're really trying to embarrass me. I correct everything. This is the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail. Look at it. It's so cute. Ugh. I'm just glad that I could actually get this ending for you guys. Uh. Despite my words, since he knew I was only kidding, I was smiling as he leaned down and kissed me. Special Lawrence ending unlocked. Okay, so this is the special ending. I want to know what the normal one is, but that is, you know, uh, I might do. All right, let me talk into the mic. So, what I might do is put a special episode uh, after this one uh, this will be the official last episode but you know what I don't think we need the normal ending I think the special one is so much better because I think you end up with a much more intimate ending like you become closer with the person that you choose to go for as your love interest in the game so I think this is the perfect way to end this series. Like, this is amazing that... <laughs> this is amazing that it actually happened, and it was like, 
not even close. Like, we're at like 24 minutes right now. <laughs> we're at like 24 minutes right now. There's like so much extra time that it's just like, I don't know what to do. This is like the final episode of this series. And I was talking about how bittersweet it would be because it's been like forever. Um, and I'm probably going to, I know already right now, right here and now, I know I'm going to get flagged for copyright. It happens for every one of these episodes, and I have nothing against the composer for the song, uh, or the songs that have been copyrighted. Uh, I thank them so much for not pursuing a legal battle and not giving me a copyright strike. Um, they're just like, oh, it's cool, whatever. Um, because I don't monetize my videos, because I'm here for you guys. And this is amazing. This is like a wonderful ending. Uh, if the writing wasn't there, I might use this as the thumbnail. But, uh, yeah. This has been such a long time coming. This is one of the original two series that came out on my channel when I started. And to see it to completion, um, I don't know, I feel like this one, I had so much more of an investment because I was focusing on the story, I was very surprised by everything because I had never seen it before, whereas 100% uh, Orange Juice, I had seen all of it because it's the same gameplay for forever. Uh, the story is a little different depending on each of the, yeah, excuse me, on, depending on each of the individual storylines but very different they're very slightly different there's not a lot of difference whereas Ooh, sorry i thought i was about to sneeze there but comparatively this is a much more satisfying ending it's a, it's wonderful like going from the thought process of oh shit we're not gonna make it to seeing probably the cutest ending I've seen for this game. Because I've only seen two, but the regular ending was... The red regular ending for Aaron was okay. Uh, I feel like it would have been different if I had focused and gotten the true ending. Uh, that's actually how I found out about true endings, was that not only through the achievements for the game, because there are... There are eight achievements. I wonder what each of those achievements could be. Um, and it's not really a secret. It's uh, It would have been interesting for them to have just four. Like the f four achievements and then have four secret achievements or hidden achievements. And have those hidden achievements be the true endings. Uh, otherwise it gives it away. But even then, you don't know how to get true endings without reading, like, a fact sheet or something. Um, that, that, I don't know. Uh, I think this is wonderful. You know, we, ha we ended up with having a successful writing career, which was, like, threatened and made fun of by Oswald, I think, or whoever, whatever Aaron's dad's name is at the beginning of the game and now we're a famous poet we live with Lawrence uh, he has an ice cream parlor he's trying to start writing and it's it's wonderful like honestly um, I don't know I think overall for the game to do like a brief thing for the game recap uh, definitely worth the money uh, I can't remember how much the game is. I think it was like 15 bucks or something when I got it, and it has been worth it every step of the way. Like just the pure story and plot and everything. It's really interesting because, in a way, Lawrence was kind of lost to us too because of the whole amnesia thing for Aaron. Because uh, we didn't want to talk to anybody, and Lawrence opened up to us. So, 
this is just a really sweet, almost Cinderella-esque story where, you know, we found love in a very unexpected way. Uh, and in this case, Lawrence is Cinderella, not, not Amy. But because we did not see him for who he was until, like, the smallest little thing connected the dots for us. Um, yeah, oh, this, is, this is it. Uh, it's great. Uh, so, uh, look out for some of our new, some of our other series to come up. Uh, like always, thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the series, if you enjoyed this weird content that I make, please do click that like button down below. It would greatly warm my heart. Uh, if you want to be even more awesome, do click that subscribe button to see a little bit more of this stuff that I do. Um, if you have any tips, tricks, comments, concerns, questions, anything and everything under the sun, then that comment section down below should be where you're going because it is your best friend and your best way of communicating with me and with the other people who watch these videos because you know if you have this as a common interest who knows uh you know share i i don't think i've ever said this for any of the videos but since this is the last one i mean if you have any favorite moments from the game please do share them uh put them in the comment section it would really be appreciated by me because i would love to know what most excited people about this series uh yeah without further ado even though we're a little over more over time than i thought we would be because this all happened so quickly um yeah without further ado this is libris blood and i'm signing out <laughs>